So now we're going to run through the business menu. So that's the second uh, function key here. You'll see we have percent change, percent of total. We have markup cost, uh, markup percentage as uh, from cost, and then markup percentage from the price. So just running through a few of these things. So if you go to percent change, then you'll have old, new, and then your percent change calculation. So you're going to input a variable into your old, and put a variable into your new, and then calculate the percentage change. Now you can always clear any of the variables on all the menus just by doing shift and clear data. And that clears all those variables. So now we're starting with fresh, uh, old, and new. So let's input uh, 20 for our old, and then 21 for our new. And the percent change between those is going to be 5%. If I wanted to see what I've got in my old, then I can recall and then push the old. It'll show me what 20 is. It's 20 there. Recall new. It'll show me I've got 21 in there. So pretty straightforward. Let's go back. I just hit exit to go up a step in the menu. So now let's look at percent total. So same sort of thing. Let's say we have $67,584 in assets. That'll be our total assets. So 67,584 is our total. And we want to find out how much of a percentage our inventory is of that total. So 23,457 is going to be our part. And then percentage of total. So 34.71% of our total assets are made up by inventory. Go back up. So markup as a percentage of cost. So say we have an item that costs $19. So we'll input that, 19. And then we want to mark that up by 60%. 60%. And then what is the price going to be? It's going to be 30.4. So $30.40. And of course, if you have a cost and you have a price, then you can calculate the percentage markup with respect to cost as well. Um, going to mark up as a percentage of price, now we have something that is uh, $9.60 per case, that's the cost, 9.6. A markup of 15% uh, with respect to price, and then calculate what the price is going to be. So the price is going to be 11.29. Now you should also note that in the markup cost, or markup percentage cost, and in the markup percentage price, we have a cost and a price variable. And those are shared between uh, the two menus. So one last example here. Let's say we have a cost that is 216 and then if I go up a menu go to my price I have a price that is 300 and then I can calculate my percentage with respect to price 28 percent or with respect to cost 38.89%. So pretty, pretty straightforward menu for calculating percentages.